Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, Mr. Lex, and we are back again for another Vibrations here on BRBP TV. Be real, be positive, of course. This is where I give my viewpoint on different things taking place in Dominica, in the Caribbean, of course, and by extension, the rest of the world. Now, first up, I want to deal with something that is rather interesting, and it's bothering me to the core. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, guys, my first order of the day is finding out this question, and hopefully you guys can answer this question for me. How does one gain an honorary doctorate without actually doing anything? Well, I shouldn't say anything at all, but recognizing that something needs to be done based on trends that is taking place. The Prime Minister of Dominica got an honorary doctorate. This is his second one. He got one on November 5th, uh, 2014, of course, and he got the Knight Grand Cross of Merit of the sacred military Constantine order of St. George from the Catholic Church just before the 2014 elections. And now election time is approaching and he's getting yet another one, this one being an honorary doctorate of human letters from another Catholic university. First of all, I find it rather fishy that it's close to election that he seems to be getting all these things. Another thing is, what is he doing to get all these doctorates? Like, he got the first one. I think he probably went to the school or something like that, and he became the prime minister or whatever. So, okay, yeah. But the second one, he's literally getting an honorary doctorate for recognizing. This is what the president of the university had to say. It is my privilege to confer upon you an honorary doctorate from the University of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Celebrating this year, it's 140th, you as a premier higher education institution in recognizing of your many accomplishments <laughs> no guys i do not know <laughs> i am probably the funny one but i'm trying to figure out dominica yes went through hurricane uh, maria and also tropical storm erica but even before that what accomplishment are we looking or, 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 or seeing that you can see you giving somebody an honorary doctorate no guys i know some of you guys have been you know so politically aligned and you you you're for your people and whatnot but guys let us speak the truth why would you give somebody an honorary doctorate when that person has done absolutely nothing except recognizing that there's a need for climate resilient communities or economies or whatever that is all no i understand if you have been doing that work you see the progress that has not been done i understand if you've done the work and then you see how it has been affecting the climate it has not been done yet you're giving someone who has not done anything except recognizing <laughs> that there's a need for climate resilient change and therefore you offer them a doctorate I might be really foolish but I, I think I think that that is an interesting question to ask I don't know if you can answer it for me I would really like to hear what you guys have to say why that is relevant and what is the point of getting an honorary doctorate for something that has not been done <laughs> anyways he had this huge celebration quote unquote huge and I say huge very loosely let us welcome home honorary Dr. Rosal Skerritt Okay, I understand you welcoming somebody who has done something great. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying this to put by and blame or, 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 or this kind. I'm just trying to ask these questions. Like, what is the point of giving somebody an honorary doctorate for something they've never done? Then that person is coming home and there is a celebration for that person for doing absolutely nothing but recognizing that resilience in climate is necessary no guys don't get me wrong if you're giving me an honorary doctorate for me recognizing that hey deforestation is taking place and we need to build back trees and you're giving me a doctorate you bet i'm gonna take it so of course go ahead take your your honorary doctorate i recognize deforestation is a part of, of the decline in the climate climactic conditions when you take out the trees there's not more carbon dioxide to be absorbed and all these things you know blah 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 so i i believe i believe i should get an honorary doctorate right now because if he can get one as a prime minister and he did nothing i did absolutely nothing but recognize that i think i should get one as well because this this doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever of course this was him before he left to get his honorary doctorate and stuff and you know you know it's good to have a wonderful wife that can you know make sure that you're steady and, and safe and all these things but it's rather interesting and sad to me that people would actually go out and celebrate something that has not been done just for the heck of it maybe they, they might get some money over there or something i really don't know talking about getting money of course, you know, elections is coming up, like I mentioned, and there is this person, I will take out their name, they also posted this in the Dominica political group. I am a little sad tonight. Money was shared in Piti Sufria. Some got 60000 some got 32000 some got 10000 Even if they don't own a home 
far less to fix one. But what really hurt me is the fact that those who needed this money to fix their home or rebuild did not get a cent. They got nothing. And I also noticed this after the passage of Hurricane Maria, where a number of persons were actually getting funds, where the persons who really needed it did not get it because they didn't support a particular political group. But anyways, going back to Dominica, Rosalie Bay is leaving Dominica. This is one of the best places that students and foreigners used to go to. And now we're having or hearing that Rosalie Bay is leaving. The Rosalie Bay Resort is leaving. And of course, they posted this on their Facebook. The time has come to wish you farewell in September 2017. Discover Dominica. Oh, well, I, th I think they pretty much meant Dominica. Dominica was hit with the full force of Category 5, Hurricane Maria. Rosal Rosalie Bay Resort suffered catastrophic damages. After tremendous consideration, we are deeply saddened to announce the resort will not be reopening. Dominica is once again thriving, so please plan a visit. Airports, hotels, and restaurants are open, and vegetation is lush. By choosing a vacation to the Nature Isle, your tourism money will continue supporting this special island. Definitely, this is something that I always want to advocate with tourists. Come to the Nature Isle of Dominica. And whether it's in hotels, you stay or apartments or whatever, you will always tend to see that echo fun that you're looking at. Dominica, the lush is coming back. Everything is coming back. Well, what I'm sad about is because of the leaving of Ross University. I believe this had a lot to do with them leaving because most of the clients came from Ross University. And of course, you know, Ross leaving is definitely a ripple effect, a rippling effect to a number of persons who have been benefiting from the Ross University, and they are definitely one of them. And of course, it's very sad to see them go because I know Rosalie Bay was one of the places that, I, and some of my friends from Ross would definitely see that they keep recommending that place to different people. So seeing Rosalie Bay is a, another big blow for Dominica, and um, hopefully, like I always say, we'll see what, what, what has to happen in times to come. And in other news, Kingfield also had an accident. Kinfin had an accident involving a bike and a truck. Uh, apparently, the biker was turning, and the truck did not see him coming. And I think that's, especially when I'm riding bike, this is one of the things that I always pay attention to, especially when I'm trying to overtake, that, um, that the person might not see me. So I am always trying to make them aware that I'm there by lingering a little bit before I do, or making sure that they have the signal or something like that, or blowing my horn before I pass. Um, the guy's safe. He's okay. His bike got a little total, as you can see here in this picture. Um, just be careful on the road, guys. Just be careful on the road. No, bringing you guys to St. Kitts, however, there was an accident involving a car, and um, it ended up crashing into this thing looking at this picture I, I can't really tell you exactly what happened but based on what i'm seeing the iron kind of bypassed the front glass i think the car most likely was sliding and ended up heating on its side and passing through that iron the driver did not survive the driver's face itself was cut in half i would not show these images because they are highly disturbing but if you saw this my goodness this would shock you a lot be careful on the road, especially when you see it's raining. When I'm riding my bike, man, this is probably the times that I ride the slowest because I don't want to end up falling or anything like that, even though my tires are good or whatever. I don't want to end up falling because falling at speeds is not, not anything fun. There's another incident that I see took place in KFC, and this involved a security guard and a customer. Apparently, the customer was in the drive through area is what I'm hearing they were in the drive through area and guys i have the audio clip there this is what happened yes last i went to the kfc drive through uh -huh. on on that on that evening all right and apparently when i when i went to the drive through the young lady that was serving me is calling the other ladies to come and see somebody i have with me on the vehicle okay. like, like they, they they forget they whatever they're doing and they want to they want to so the one in video your your privacy. Yeah, the one in my privacy. That, that that always happens at KFC drive. Right. I don't know why. I don't I don't blame the management for that. I don't blame Mr. Nasty for his and his management for that. Mm -hmm. I blame the staff. Always try to make people do this. They try. Uh -oh. when, when I went out of the drive, she gave me like change to put him over. 
And then when I so, oh, 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 let, 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 let's take a She delayed in giving you your check because she wanted to see more. She wanted to see more. Mm. Right. So I, after that, I went out of the drive so I passed outside. And I went inside asking to see the supervisor on from the speak to the customer service. Right. Because I find that that, that, is, that is not right for, for them to be doing that. I have to speak to the supervisor. So when I asked him to speak to the supervisor, the security, I don't know who he is. The guy just, I don't know why, I even spoke to the guy here. The guy just grabbed me in my neck, choking me, and just dragged me outside. There were a lot of people there. They said that you were there, there was another girl I know very well. And everybody called on me, what, what, am, I, what am I doing about that? Right now, I'm speaking to my lawyer, that I speak to right now, I'm speaking to my lawyer. I'll be taking legal action again. But, but it, it appears very, very embarrassing. He's huh? definitely getting his lawyers involved in this. I think the security guard, from what I've seen, is definitely wrong. Of course, there's always two sides to the story. And with that being said, I think I will end my story right there. So we'll have to see what both sides have to say when the law and the court is involved in all this. Uh, maybe even KFC might even get sued for this. Um, because of the security guard because he represents the security guard he represents um kfc oh maybe not maybe he represents the company that hires that kfc hires to put there so we'll see who gets sued or whatever because i think the the customer is planning to sue them well no, i think i know he's planning to sue them so we'll see how that falls out in the next weeks or time to come Anyways, guys, this is all I have for today on BRBP TV. I really find it interesting. Let me know what your thoughts are on the whole situation involving, you know, this doctorate stuff. Because I really find it, I really find it interesting that you, you get my whole gist already. <laughs> Anyways, guys, boy, well, Mr. Licks on BRBP TV. Be real, be positive in all things, in all life, in all situations. But definitely ask questions. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. I would appreciate that. And of course, subscribe and turn on the post notifications. Better get all the videos as they come through. It's about Mr. Licks on BRBPTV. Guys, remember, be real. Be positive.